Did you know that a tiny tick bite could make burgers deadly? A New Jersey man became the first victim of this phenomenon after eating a hamburger at a cookout, making him the first known fatality of a tick-linked meat allergy. But how can a tick bite make you deathly allergic to meat? The official name for what he had is alpha-gal syndrome. The allergy is caused by the bite of the lone star tick. These ticks have proteins in their saliva carrying a sugar called alpha-gal. When people are bitten by these ticks, alpha-gal enters their bloodstream and it can sensitize people to the sugar, meaning they can develop an allergy to it. This sugar is also found in the meat of most mammals. Some primates, including us, do not have it. But other mammals, like cows and sheep and pigs, do. So when this man ate a steak and later a burger, he had a severe allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis. Unfortunately, this allergic reaction was severe enough to end his life. If you have alpha-gal syndrome, you can't eat meat from any animal that produces alpha-gal. So no beef, no pork, no lamb. You can eat chicken and fish because they're not mammals, and you could hypothetically eat some primates, including humans. I obviously wouldn't recommend it. I always wondered why we humans, plus some monkeys and apes, don't produce alpha-gal. Recent work suggests that by losing alpha-gal, our ancestors were actually more able to fight off malaria and avoid sepsis, which is pretty cool. One of the worrying bits of the story is that the man didn't remark on having any recent tick bites. He did say he had about a dozen chiggers bites down by his ankles. Chiggers are a different kind of arachnid, but according to the doc who is the foremost expert on alpha-gal, most chigger bites in the eastern U.S. are actually the bites of lone star tick larvae. But suffice it to say, if you're in the eastern half of the United States, you should take steps to avoid tick bites, especially the smallest ones that are hardest to see. If you enjoy hearing about the ecology and evolution of infectious disease, please follow for more.